But within the hour, I spoke with Ferguson Mayor James Knowles about how his community is preparing for potential unrest tonight and the lessons that he has learned after being mayor in 2014. One of the things that we've learned and one of the things we've tried to do immediately uh, after the protest started on Saturday here in our community was to engage uh, people who want to exercise the First Amendment right, people that want to be heard, uh, obviously to listen to them, uh, to engage them. Now, unfortunately, what we've seen uh, Saturday night and uh, last night, and, and frankly, is a little bit different than what we've experienced in the past, is this concerted effort that is really just bent on violence. Uh, and these individuals who have come out to uh, perpetrate that, uh, they are not, this is not a sporadic outpouring of frustration from a group. This is a planned, concerted effort to try to uh, destroy the Ferguson Police Department or do other damage within our community. And when you're talking about this planned, concerted effort, we are hearing that this is from people who are not from our area. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, you know, we've been able to identify a few people. Uh, we've had a, an effort of, of residents and others who have uh, worked uh, through social media and other other uh, venues to identify through the massive number of, of videos and photos that are out there of people who are part of this. There's some very good, clear photos. And uh, we've been able to identify a number of people. They don't even realize that they've been identified yet, but they'll find out soon enough. Um, and, and, you know, they're not from here. Now, Knowles was mayor during the Michael Brown aftermath and was supposed to end his term last month because of term limits. But the municipal election was postponed due to COVID-19. So now he will end his term in June, much like it started.